From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Thursday evening. Thanks for tuning in, us, tuning in with us this evening. It is pretty warm across the area compared to yesterday. At least we're seeing those temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s out there right now. And we're also seeing blue sky and you'll be able to see that right here from our NTS live sky view right now looking north over the city of Lubbock again here in the hub city right now currently sitting around 59 degrees, but it has been a warm day across the region today. As we take a look at our satellite radar, notice we have some of those clouds moving through yesterday. We talked to you about a week from Front that could move through and that's what those are associated with all of that moving on out and tonight should be mostly clear across the region. It's going to be a little cool as well. Thanks to that frontal passage too. We are seeing winds a little bit stronger out of the west and northwest. You see around 11 miles an hour here in Brownfield and five miles an hour out of the northwest there in Anton. Live and local temperature data is continuing to show those temperatures a little bit above average for this time of year. We're still sitting in the 50s across the area. 58 there in Slayton, 61 degrees here at KMAX Studios and 62 down in La Mesa. Notice those winds are a little bit light though, but in Rawls we are sitting at 58 degrees. Tonight those temperatures will fall on down. You notice around 37 degrees by sunrise there for your Friday, but by noon we're already at 60 degrees, so a much warmer day in store for us tomorrow. Lunch outside tomorrow afternoon will not be a bad idea. Highs across the region topic out in the middle to upper 60s, even a few lower 70s on off towards our south and west. That's well above average for this time of year. In the next couple of days we're going to be warm but notice this cold front begins to sweep on through our area. This here is around Sunday at noon. That will continue to push on off towards our east and behind that. That's where we're going to see that cold air really begin to sweep on in and a couple of more clouds as well. Notice this white line on your screen right here. This is our average high temperature for this time of year. That's right around 54 degrees. We'll be at 68 Friday, a little cooler by Saturday, warming back to 65 by Sunday. That's when that cold front sweeps in Sunday night into Monday and drops us well below average there for Monday into Tuesday. It does look like a dry front right now. Could have a couple of sprinkles, but really not expecting any rainfall with that. But notice the next 8 to 14 days, Christmas does fall in this time frame. We're going to be well above average for a good majority of the country. If you're wanting cold, you'll have to head on off to the northeastern portions of the United States. But our rain gauge winner for today is Max. Congratulations. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, head on over to our website at everythinglubbock.com. You can find all the details there. Tonight, though, in the Hub City, 37 degrees for your overnight low. Those winds could be a little bit breezy at times out of the west-northwest, maybe gusting over 10 miles an hour occasionally. Tomorrow, your day time high of 68 degrees will be very warm, the warmest day out of the next seven. But notice, those, Lauren, those 40s return for Monday and Tuesday. And look at those overnight lows in the lower 20s and upper teens. So the mm. cold is going to be here for a little bit before we warm back up next weekend. All right. Yeah, get ready for that. That's a yeah. chilly morning. For sure. All right, Jacob. <laughs>